Hey there guys, this is Reckles with Want to Buy Gold, and today I'm going to be showing you some amazing Legion skinning spots for Stonehide Leather Farming and Storm Scale Farming. One of these is not only the best Stonehide spot right now, but it's the best skinning farm WoW has ever had. Everything I talk about in the next couple of minutes is going to be nerf, so get to it guys. Get skinning, let's do this guide. Okay, okay, so just so everyone's on the same page, even if you're watching this a couple of years from now, Legion has currently been out for two weeks and skinning has already had a big nerf, where rank three skinning went from nine to 24 leather per skin down to two to four. While yeah, yeah, yeah it's good for long-term skinning viability, it's still a massive nerf and has created a lot of, a lot of searching for the best routes out there. So here's what you're gonna want for this guide. Rank three skinning, which gets you more leather and blood of Sargeras. Mother's skinning knife, which lets you loot from, from a range, like the Looterang. Uh, cross realm assist, or any add-on that lets you server hop. And finally, a water mount, because all, all the best storm scale spots pretty much are in the water. And finally, uh, check the description in the comments to see if any of these spots have been nerfed by uh, before you try them out. Uh, I'll try to keep it updated. And, you know, while you're down there, uh, hit the like button. That really helps me out. Now, I don't like doing guides that require you to server hop. So first, here are two amazing spots that you can do without it. Uh, for Stonehide Leather, go to the Runewood in Stormheim. We're going to be killing bears, deer, and birds. Uh, here are the coordinates for where I do my killing after I round everything up. So, first spot, pull everything into the little circle where uh, that elite bear is. Second, move down the path and pull all those bears and, and the deer on the edge of the cliff. Next, down the path, there's a ledge. Pull the ones at the bottom up to the top. After that, go to the big scary talking tree and kill all the deer around it. Uh, and for all of these, if there are any birds in the area, grab those too. Then take the path out that the tree is looking towards and round everything up between him and there's a stone fence right there. Now, this used to be the whole route, but this spot has already been nerfed. The bears hit harder and are taking a minute longer to respond. So, we're gonna hang a left and round up the stuff on the path that leads back to the flight path. There's a little ledge that you run up against. Then right next to the flight path there's a flock of birds. Kill those and head back to the start. Each of these seven pulls is between seven and twelve mobs that drop two to four stonehide leather each and it takes me about six to eight minutes to do a whole lap. For storm scale head to the island northwest of Stormheim. There's occasionally a world quest there that has you kill some big scary Vrykel in the center of the island. The perimeter, though, is entirely beach, and it's lined with crabs the entire way. Uh, so, from the flight path, just head down towards the shore and run counterclockwise until the beach ends, and you need, like, water walking to keep going. Uh, nothing is in the water past that point, and since it takes you at least five minutes to run all the way around, you can just use your flight master whistle to instantly teleport back to the lap start. You can do this trick with the, the Runewood Bear Farm, too, but uh, you just reverse the order of the, the, the points that you're farming. Okay, let's get into... You know what? I can't wait. Let's just show you the best farming spot in WoW. It's a jerk to get to, it doesn't have coordinates, and it isn't even on the map. So, uh, go to either Southwest Suramar, uh, the flight path there, and head southeast, into the water, past the islands, or you can take the broken shore flight path if you have that and just head north. Uh, you'll be able to see the island if you set your view distance to max. Now, as you approach, you'll be greeted by 35 freaking sea lions just sunbathing on the rocks. They're all in AOE range. Round up as many as you can without dying and try to skin it all before the bodies despawn on you. 
In this clip, I'm pulling about 20 because that's all I could comfortably handle. But uh, there are twice as many stragglers around the edge and little different packs here and there. So once you skin it all, change realms and everything's back up. This 100% will be nerfed. It's dumb. It's too much leather. And what they're gonna do is just say, sea lions aren't skinnable anymore. And you know what, Blizzard? That's boring. Here's a better way to do it. If these only spawn from like 7 to 8 in the morning and 5 to 6 in the afternoon, there would be mandatory competition for the spot, which would make it less viable without really hurting the profession and at the same time while adding to the story that, you know, these seals are sunbathing. Okay. So, we've established that what we're looking for is mobs with not a lot of health, in a high density, so you can server hop around and just keep killing them. So, let's rocket fire some of these spots. For Stonehide Leather, remember the birds we talked about in the bear farm uh, by the Stormheim flight path? Yeah, that's 10 mobs within whirlwind range of each other. Just stand there, round them up, kill them, change realms, and then rinse or pee. Also, just west of Talonrest, there's an NPC named Houndmaster Eli. All around him, especially in this little small ditch, are a bunch of corrupted wolves. Now, ignore Houndmaster Eli, round up all the wolves you can handle, kill them, change realms, repeat. Now, for Storm Scale, the crab route from before has a spot where 12 crabs are grouped up right underneath one of the giants with, uh, there are a few more on either side. As long as you don't accidentally pull the giant, this is a super fast farm with cross realm. If you do pull him though, just uh, kill him away from the crabs so he doesn't fall over and cover up their bodies and interrupt your skinning. You don't know which ones you've skinned and which ones you haven't. Uh, this route as a whole, this crab farm, is really, really good. Uh, you can do the cross realm farm in front of the giant, or if you have competition for that, you can just run around the perimeter and you're fine. Next, there are Great Sea Thresher Sharks, northwest of Azuna, and they come in packs of nine. Uh, they pat across this uh, submarine plateau and, and don't hit very hard. Just make sure that when you're farming these guys that after every group you skin, you go up for air. I, uh, I drowned twice here while I was filming this. It's, uh, I'm good at video games, guys. Now, lots of things aren't skinnable. Uh, most baby animals in Legion and World of Warcraft in general aren't skinnable. Uh, like these sharks or all the baby crabs. Also, uh, these spiders here are not only not skinnable, but they're demons. So you can imprison them or make them warlock pets. Uh, but there are two different groups of baby sea horses uh, called baby sea striders that are in packs of 15 and they don't move away from their spawn point. This makes them ridiculous for cross realm farming. Just remember that even if you're an OP tank, when, uh, when 15 things hit you at the same time, it adds up and you can get pretty hurt. Uh, so, you know, have your mitigation or your CC ready with these adorable little guys that you're gonna proceed to brutally murder and cut their skin off. And finally, uh, the non-instanced Eye of Ashara uh, has a ton of crabs you can skin. They have 1.7 million HP each, and there are six to seven packs of them all along the beach where uh, the Wrath would spawn in, in the instance version. Uh, just avoid the big scary boss that's, that's patrolling around because his Shadow Bolt Volley hits for 10 million. So I, that's it, I think. You have enough spots here to get you guys rolling, uh, making everything you need to craft, and hey, maybe even a few extra obliterum here and there. So, good luck, happy gold making, and make sure to hit the like button as hard as you'd hit a baby seahorse. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.